x and 5 carry the 2. It's, yes, but if x equals pi, then no. No, that wouldn't work. So I need to... Wait a minute. I got it! Yep, he figured it out. Took him a while, but by God, he got it. Hello everyone, this is Clay with Digifactors Animation, and welcome to another MovieZoo tutorial. And this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make that character. And the software that we're going to use is uh, MovieZoo, of course. Then we're going to use um, Crazy Talk Pro, your version, whatever version that you have. Um, we're going to use Paint.net. Virtual Dub, and let's see what else. Um, oh, 3D Milkshape, or your choice of uh, uh, 3D modeling, whatever you have. And I think that's basically it. Um, I'll be uh, posting a link to everything that I've mentioned that you can download, so you can follow this tutorial. You know, but the purpose of this tutorial is not just because of this character but to give you an idea how you can uh, uh, use videos onto a character's face you know and and animate it and everything that way you can use a, a video of yourself or someone else or you know whatever but that's that's the purpose of this but I, I'm, I'm making the professor as you know I'm just making the professor. That's, that's all I can say. But anyway, let's start. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up uh, your 3D modeling software. And again, I use, uh, for my tutorials, I use 3D Milkshake due to the fact it's cheap and it's easy to learn and it has a fast workflow. And I recommend it to anyone that is a beginner and this software, if you're a movie zoom user, this software is perfect for it. Okay, I mean it's perfect. Okay, now we need a model to use to make our head for the uh, the character, and I do have a file that contains all the base models of. Uh, the movie zoo characters in movie zoo and these are the models that they use to create their characters so let me open up one and i'm going to import i have an fbx and object so we're going to use the object one and we're going to select the uh i'm going to use the boy because he's uh he's he's basically mostly like uh great for all of them so as you can see with it didn't come with any textures and it already has textures assigned to it but the textures are empty and that's why you got this uh these black smudges and everything all over them so to fix that we'll just select all and then click on the moves tab and just move them around and then that'll go away okay i mean on the hierarchy select on the uh, select button click anywhere to deselect and if you can that you can see that he's got a skirt on now, in the movie zoo, whenever you're editing a character, okay, you have a choice to give them a skirt. Well, that's that skirt. And then you have the choice to give them pants and that. And also on his chest, you'll see a chest plate. That's for the front decal on his chest. And there's one on his back. And there's also one here for the beard and that. So, uh, but we're going to get rid of all of that. So, Here's the skirt, and we're going to delete that. Okay, here is the chest, and we're going to delete that. And then the back, we're going to delete that. And then the beard, we're going to delete that. Actually, to tell you the truth, we're just going to use his head. So, let's just select everything on his body. And we're going to delete his body. Okay, because all we want is just his head. Now, let's select this bottom row of vertexes on his neck like that. Okay, and then we'll click on the scale button. 
let's go to the top view and let's scale inward and close that big gap where his neck was and now I'll just move it up a little bit okay now let's reset all the views okay. and then let's select that whole thing click back on the models tab and click on move now at the bottom or move orientation we're going to go to the drop down menu and we're going to select absolute click on that and then click on this move button that will bring it right in the middle of the axis okay now the way we're going to do the face we're going to add textures to it but we don't need this mouth but if we leave it there and we apply them textures we're going to have that big gap and we're going to have those dents in his face so we don't want that so uh let's see let's see let's see okay so what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these vertexes right here and we're going to delete it like so and he says wait a minute you deleted half of his head he's only got a half a head how are we going to do this well here's the thing basically all i need is just half of the head okay and that's all i need so we need to select this right here and move it up like that okay and i guess we're just creating a mask okay so we're going to move it right in the center like so now the next thing we need to do is add the texture okay so let's go to the materials tab and as you can see there's already all these textures that was supposed to have been there but they wouldn't because they didn't come with the file okay so we're going to delete all of them and we're going to make our new by collecting clicking on new and then we're going to go to none we're going to browse to where our texture is and then we're going to go there all right so let's apply that texture and as you can see it's not right because we got a uv map it so let's do that by going to windows at the top clicking on that now in the drop down menu we're going to select texture coordinate editor okay well let's maximize that and let's remap it okay so we got that remap but the thing of it is we need to shape the head to fit this well basically yeah so let's close that and i'll see what that looks like so far so that's what we got so far but we first we need to shape the head so let's go over here in the front view right click on it choose background image click on your browser and then browse to where that image is again open it and then click OK there we are now click on the select click anywhere to deselect so that way you can see where all the vertexes are okay well let's select it again now in the front view window right click and click maximize now zoom in now back on the models tab click on move and let's whoops let's click on undo move yeah like that we didn't select it all so let's select all of it click move and let's move it into sh into where we need it like so now let's scale it a little bit like that okay now what we're going to do is we're going to shape this up so let's select this top portion of his head click on the scale and let's just scale it I will move it like that let's see let's scale it a little, a little bit more like that okay now let's click where his eyebrows are and let's just scale that like that now 
right in the middle of where the eyes are at, we're going to select those. We're going to scale it. Like that. And then so on. We go over where his cheeks are. We'll select those three. Let's we miss one. Like that. And then scale them right there. Okay. Now, let's select these right here. Let's scale it a little bit. Uh, we don't need shadows. We don't need that dark spot. Okay, now let's click over here. All these, and we're going to scale that. Uh, let's take that back. Undo that. Now let's scale all of these right here. Click on scale, scale it, about like that. I think that looks pretty good. Let's check it and see. All right, we'll take off maximize. Okay, and then let's go back to Windows Text Texture Coordinate Editor. Okay, and oh yeah, we gotta select it. In order for it to work, you gotta select your model because you ain't got nothing selected. Now, let's remap it. There we go. So now it looks good. So let's just scale it to how we have his face shaped. Now, let's see. We got a little bit of a scaling issue. So, let's see. Let's try moving these over here. See how that works. Oh, so I need to select all of them. Oh, not those, just them two. Now let's see. Well, his eyes stretched out now. So let's undo scale texture. Just keep on doing this. Keep going until everything's back to where it was. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So we got a. Let's move it. You know, there's a way I could fix this. So, like I said, my tutorials, whenever I think of something that could be fixed, I usually do it and and do it while I'm while I'm uh, uh, recording. So that way, y'all can see my fixes as well. So, but I think I have a way to fix in this. So, let's see that way. Cause see, I'm not getting very good because of the shadow parts on one side and this is where uh, paint.net comes in good at or any other image editor so I'm going to open it and I'm going to open that so this part of his head we do not need so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select half of it right in the middle of his head and the nose like that and then I am going to copy it and paste and then I'm gonna grab it on this side and I'm gonna flip it over there we go 
I think that's perfect. So I'm going to save that. Okay. Now, let's go back to the materials and let's reload that texture. Let's see. Ah, yes. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's see if we can move that back. Okay. And let's scale it. And move it back. Scale it a tiny bit more. Move it. Now let's see. We still got a little bit of gray right there because of his head. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these two right here. Move it just a little bit like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Now let's see. There we go. Now we're in business. We have our mask. 